1993. And this UConn team, as this ball has popped up, Hard to see. fight the sun, he can't find it. And what a play! I yeah, heard somebody in the dugout yell Prado late, and he was coming. You know, he, he thought David had it at first, and then the rule is you keep coming and, uh, and be there in case he loses it. He was there. And that is why Anthony Prado is considered one of the top gloves at shortstop in D1 baseball. I just had a hunch. I just feel uh, like it's Thad's day today. Thad did a heck of a job. He was more than ready. Big, really nice turn, too, by our middle uh, to get out of that inning. That was big. I mean, that was a kind of a, we hit into a couple of those yesterday that were backbreakers, and that was an early backbreaker for them. But The story of the day was Colby Dunlop. He was sensational. I think the key was they had a lot of weak contact. Nothing with, like, they had some hard hit, but Overall, it was pretty soft. I told Connor and Paul when I was going up, I said, I'm going to try and hit one out today. So uh, Keo had a good bat in front of me, so I said, I figured this is a good time. Prado unloads left field insurance for Anthony Prado. I do believe he's the best shortstop in the country. And then we're going to hand it over to our three-headed monster. Um, just had to do it a little earlier than we normally do it, but that's how we've been winning games all year. I, I know there's not a better reliever in the country than, than Jake Wallace, and we love handing him the ball. He faces seven Oklahoma State batters and puts them all down via the strikeout. Yeah.